And see, the story of Christmas really began with the answer yes to the greatest question that has ever been asked in the history of mankind. And this question was being asked to a teenage girl. It says that God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. Gabriel appeared to her and said, greetings, favored woman, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could possibly mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and he will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy and he will be called the son of God. And what's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say that she was barren, but she has conceived a son and now she is in her sixth month. For the word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything that you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. See, the question was this, Mary, would you be willing to carry the hope of the world into the world, the hope of the world into a world that so desperately needs him? And see, even though Mary didn't know what was waiting for her on the other side of that yes, she did know that her relationship with Joseph would be threatened. And she knew that her reputation was at stake. But she said, I am the Lord's servant and my answer is yes. My answer is yes. And with that yes, history was changed and destinies to this day are being changed. And what I want you to hear is that the story of the first Christmas was all about a yes. But it began with a yes. But in Christmas 2018, still requires a yes. What I want to speak over you is Isaiah chapter 9. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. But I want you to know when you carry the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, into your situation, He will do exceedingly abundantly above anything you could hope, dream, or imagine. What I want you to hear is that you carry within you the everlasting father and he is a good good father that has good things for his children and part of his inheritance is his family and some of you are walking through some storms and the prince of peace wants to speak peace into the chaos of your storm so church when you say yes when you say yes to carry jesus emmanuel god with you into every circumstance that what's waiting for you on the other side of that yes is his peace and his presence and your yes has the power to change everything.